My name is Daniel and I'm a contributor to PIF Network. Today we're going to talk about PIF benchmarks. PIF benchmarks allow users to query a historical archive of prices from PIFnet price feeds. Benchmarks are a broad class of standards used in the financial world to steer market participants' decisions. You have things like the reference prices, for example, Bitcoin reference rate, indices, the S&P 500, the reference rates like LIBOR, SOFR, Fed funds rate. For example, things like the S&P 500 simplify the process of tracking aggregate stock and market performance and replicating them in an investment portfolio. The primary value of a benchmark is its ability to provide standardization. Without conventionally agreed upon benchmarks, every player may use a different value in their settlement or evaluation process. And currently, crypto lacks standard benchmarks. And the lack of standardization means that investors are hard pressed to find reputable sources of the types of benchmarks data featured in TradFi. Therefore, PIF benchmarks hope to bridge that gap and provide users with the relevant information they need. For example, if you're an options protocol and you want to retrieve the price of Bitcoin as of last Friday at 8 a.m. UTC, you could use PIF benchmarks to retrieve the said price and pass it into your contract. Benchmarks data is signed and verifiable on-chain with the same trust assumptions as PIFnet price feeds. So right now, I'm going to show you how you can access PIF benchmarks. There are two ways users can access PIF benchmarks. First, by going to the website directly at pif.network benchmarks. When you first enter the page, you can see that there are default options for common settlement dates and times. For example, the daily or weekly close at 8 a.m. UTC. If you scroll down, you'll be greeted with this area right here where you can search for more granular data down to the second. And this really, once again, emphasizes how powerful PIF data is. So say if we want to search for benchmarks data at 7.59.59, you're able to do that, just click on apply and the search results will show up right here. And if you want to further filter down this result, say you want to only see Forex prices, you can type FX and it would only show you FX prices right here. Or if you want to see Bitcoin prices and you type BTC in and the results will filter down to Bitcoin. We also provide preview popular settlement time option here, such as the daily 8 a.m. UTC or weekly 8 a.m. UTC. And lastly, users are able to export this data as CSV and do further data analysis on them as they wish to. The second way users can access PIF benchmarks is by using the price service endpoint to retrieve a signed price update for the desired price feed and time. But right now, let me show you how you can do that on this page right here. So we are on the xe-testnet.pif.network endpoint and we have the API slash get VAA um, endpoint right here. And you want to be passing in the price feed ID as well as the publish time. The way you can find out the price feed ID is by going onto the website, click on developers tab, scroll down, click on the price feed IDs. And we want to be changing the cluster to testnet and you can type the desired symbol. So we can click on this, copy the price feed ID and replace it here, click enter and you should be able to get the result right here. And this VAA right here is what you want to be passing in to the parse price feed updates function. As you can see from the screen, we have the function right here in our PIF cross-chain repository. And we also have an example also in the same repository to show you how you can use the PIF benchmarks data. That's all for the short explanation on PIF benchmarks. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to our socials on Twitter, Telegram, or Discord, and our friendly community managers will try their best to help you.